This mighty shout enthused Peter and those of the apostles who still retain the hope of seeing Jesus assert his right to rule. But these false hopes were not to live for long. This mighty shout of the multitude had hardly ceased to reverberate from the nearby rocks when Jesus stepped upon a huge stone and lifting up his right hand to command their attention, said, My children, you mean well, but you are short-sighted and material-minded. There was a brief pause. This stalwart Galilean was there majestically poised in the enchanting glow of the eastern twilight. Every inch he looked a king as he continued to speak to this breathless multitude. You would make me king, not because your souls have been lighted with the great truth, but because your stomachs have been filled with bread. How many times have I told you that my kingdom is not of this world? This kingdom of heaven which we proclaim is a spiritual brotherhood, and no man rules over it seated upon a material throne. My Father in heaven is the all-wise and all-powerful ruler over this spiritual brotherhood of the sons of God on earth. Have I so failed in revealing to you the Father of spirits that you would make a king of his Son in the flesh? Now all of you, go hence to your homes. If you must have a king, let the Father of lights be enthroned in the heart of each of you as the spirit ruler of all things. These words of Jesus sent the multitude away, stunned and disheartened. Many who had believed in him turned back and followed him no more from that day. The apostles were speechless. They stood in silence, gathered about the twelve baskets of the fragments of food. Only the choir boy, the Mark lad, spoke, and he refused to be our king. The Arantia Book, Paper 152, Section 3, Paragraph 2.